Hi, welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Wednesday morning early. Getting ready to go and uh, already taking Miss Luna out for a walk early this morning. Got off of work last yesterday evening and came in and fixed a little something to eat and uh, crashed. So I got some sleep. I got up one time last night, took Miss Luna out. And then uh, <clears throat> got up this morning and took Miss Luna out again for her uh, early morning walk. Now, finished up my shower. It's time to get my shave on, and then it'd be off to work. So there we go. Just the one job today at the store. Little Cafe Bustello to get the morning cranking. So uh, Monday, we did the uh, auto strop shave. The valet auto strop, you'll notice, just auto strop. And I used my B. I knew most people were going to use an A, so uh, I used the B. But today, I figured, well, you know, that was such a good shave. We still got the blade, so we'll go back and do it again. This is the A2. You can tell it's the A2 because it's got the square square at the top there. It's also got the push button in the back that you push that slides the uh, that slides the uh, guard forward so that the blade can be locked into place. I've already put the blade in. I've already checked to be sure that it's centered and behind the blade stops, so everything's good there. This one does shine up better than the B, or I have shined it up better than the B. Uh, you can see there it's a nice little silver plate. And uh, yeah, so we'll get a, uh, an HE shave this morning. It's Williams Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was looking around and decided we'll use the uh, guest size shave stick there, vintage Williams. Uh, we're going to use a Sterling bore brush because that's what I had grabbed. I had actually planned on a different shave this morning, to be quite honest, because I didn't think about it being Wednesday. And, uh, but anyway, it is Wednesday, so we're going to do that. And we're going to finish off today with a sample of our Alt Innsbruck that I think is a really nice scent, and uh, I want to use it today, so that's why we're going to do that. No other reason other than I just want to use that one today. So there we go. That's going to do it. Showed back up to work yesterday, and uh, we are now back to wearing masks in the store. Associates and vendors. The governor has put a mask mandate back in place that I think should cover the customers coming in. <coughs> However, I am not the mask police, or I haven't been told I am the mask police yet, so I haven't done anything with that. But anyhow, I think uh, our governor decided to do that. And most people think that's a really good thing, and I don't particularly think that's a really good thing. So anyway. We'll leave it at that. All right. Get a little bit of the William shave stick on the old mug here. I didn't shave yesterday, so this is the uh, last shave. It was Monday morning. This is Wednesday morning, so it's a couple of days worth of growth here. So, yeah, shave sticks. Uh, I like them. I'm, I'm a fan of it. I really am. Uh, this is Vintage Williams. I've actually got a full-size Vintage Williams that I was gifted. Uh, these are guest size. They came in a little glass jar. And uh, we've already shown before we had to peel the paper off. And the paper had gotten impregnated with the, uh, the oils and stuff that were leaching out or whatever you want to call it. I don't know if leaching is the right word. It probably is. But uh, anyway, so you had to scrape all the paper off. It was literally scraping the paper off. But the soap is fine. It looks all yellow and everything. It doesn't really have any scent to it. It's just a soap scent, I guess. I don't know. There's no, no scent left to it. But if you can see, it works fine. It is a tallow soap. And everybody hollered, oh, that soap's going to go rancid. You're going to do this. It's going to do that. I have never opened up a vintage soap and had it spoiled. Now, I'm not saying I never will because I ain't dead yet. But I have never before opened up a vintage soap, tallow soap, and had it be rancid and smell bad and spoil. And they don't have any scent left, and the, the menthol uh, Williams doesn't have any menthol left in it. That's true. <coughs> but, uh, got a little sinus running this morning. Huh, we're just gonna trim the nose hairs. I need everyone that's why when you're an old guy, I find. Even when you wear a mustache, it kind of hides that kind of stuff. You still got to. So, very nice brush. Change subjects real quick. 
I am enjoying the sterling boar brush. Glad I stole it, uh, hijacked it, uh, took possession of it, adopted it. Maybe adopted it. But some people just seem to know when I am, uh, and then it ring two or three more times. They just seem to know when I'm in here doing my video. All right. Perfect. Look at that lather. How do you like it? How do you like it? I guess I should look over here so you can see in the camera. Now, if over here, I'm seeing it real good in the mirror, but you ain't seeing it so good in the camera. That's two. All right. So back with the A2. Beautiful razors. Built wonderfully. I guess they went to the lever instead of the push button because it had less moving parts. I mean, if you break the spring, and now that I said that, I may have jinxed myself. Hopefully, I don't break a spring here. I don't know how you would replace it. But um, also, the, the A models didn't have removable handles. The handles are actually screwed onto the, with little screws. You can't just unscrew the handle on there. As far as the shave goes, it's the same classy shave as all the other auto shops in the Valley Auto Shops even. They give really good shaves. Uh, most of them to me have a lot of blade feel. And that's what I like. They're open comb generally, although the VC4 was a runner guard and it was a, it was a close, you know, the regular guard. But, you know, just because it's an open comb, don't think that means that it's overly aggressive and it's a monster razor. That has nothing to do with it. Especially newer people seem to think that because they hear it from older people. They don't know really what they're talking about. So anyway, don't be afraid of an open comb razor. I love open comb razor. Part of the appeal is just the look of the things. And I think that's part of the appeal of the uh, auto shop here is the look of the things. So you got all those neat little gears on the side and everything. Pretty nice. You come over and you got the little gears and all on the side. Look at that. I mean, there's your angle, your shaving angle right there on the head. That's pretty much the angle. A little bit of adjustment. Your technique will adjust for that as you need it. Oh, look, Fuzzy's talking about technique again, like it's important or something. That's because it is. If you're gonna do something, do it right. Why just halfway do something? Why, why just do it good enough? Why just do it good enough? Why not go ahead and do it right? Well, if I get the whiskers off my face, Fuzzy, I'm doing it right. Not necessarily. necessarily. Notice we're doing some nice paintbrush strokes this morning. I'm doing that on purpose for you. People don't want to do the swirly thing and sometimes if you're having a problem with your lather, instead of doing the swirly thing, doing the paintbrush helps we can get your lather good. I don't exactly understand why because I never really looked into it and just in case you're curious, I'm not going to. I don't care. But uh, it can sometimes help I found with the modern Williams, sometimes when people are having problems with their lather on modern Williams before they, you know, learn to lather, that uh, using paintbrush strokes can definitely, definitely help. All right, boy, that's a nice shave under there. I'm telling you, these things do some great shave. Now, if you can get a hold of an A or a B, I would recommend it, especially if you're really an SC person. They give great shade, it's wonderful. However, if you can't get a hold of an A or B, and what you can find are the valet auto strops of whichever vintage, go for it. They're plentiful. You can get those, they don't cost a lot. Get the ones, the older, pay attention, look at the pictures, get the older ones that uh, the blade slides in like these, that you don't need the cutouts, and just uh, modify gem blades to go in. If you like stainless steel, modify your stainless steel blade. It's not complicated. Not something that you have to be scared of. You're not going to slice your fingers open. Let me take that back. You shouldn't slice your fingers open. I don't know. Saying people aren't going to do things sometimes. 
Y'all know one of my favorite things in the world is uh, ranting about traffic. All right, you see right there how I pulled that up and I was able to take something that was down on the bottom of my jaw and I pulled all that skin up and I was able to have a nice flat surface there. Yeah, pay attention, that's how you do it. But y'all know one of my favorite things in the world is sitting there yelling at traffic. Anybody that's ever ridden with me learns that in a hurry because I enjoy yelling at traffic. I know they can't hear me and I know if they did hear me, they wouldn't care. It don't matter, I enjoy yelling at traffic. So a lot of times I'm sitting there going, oh, he's not gonna do that. Oh, wait, he's not gonna do that easy. And invariably, he does. You can sit there and pick the ones out that are gonna jackrabbit. You can sit there and watch as the light starts to change and know the one that's gonna to try to sneak through that's obviously going under the red, but you always got that last car that's just gotta sneak through. He can't wait on another light. He ain't got no time. You just can't wait. You always knew it. I was driving one night in Arizona when I was working in Tucson and it was still early enough in the night that there was traffic out. And, uh, you know, in Tucson, Tucson was horrible because they didn't have a uh, loop around the city on the interstate. You had to go through town for everything. So traffic in the daytime and the early nights was horrible. But about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, we, we would come on duty at 8. So by 10 o'clock at night, it was usually cleared off. You could actually get around town. But anyway, it was still busy enough that there was a lot of traffic out. So I'm sitting there like, I was driving a 90, I think it was a 94 Crown Vic, if I remember correctly. Anyway, something like that, nice big car. And the light turns green and I give it my normal two breaths and I start to move and as quick as I did, there was this old station wagon comes whizzing through. And as I'm pulling forward, now I'm not out in the intersection because I'm just, I'm trying to get out, you know, slow enough because the folks beside me hadn't started moving yet. And boy, they got down on the brakes and that old, that old station wagon got the fish tailing and carrying over and I was looking for the popcorn to watch the movie. I was gonna watch that wreck. I don't know who was driving that thing. It must have been Mario and Reddy though, because they got it straightened out in the way they went. But boy, you talk about fish tailing. They got down on the brakes and back end broke loose on that, on that, uh, next, you know, I guess they got down on the brakes and snatched the steering wheel or whatever. I don't know what it, what they did. Anyway, they was fish tailing down the road there. <coughs> Grant, I think was the name of that street. If I remember correctly. Man, yeah, I knew I didn't see a good one. Folks, you know, got to race the light. They got to be that last person to get through. They can't take that few minutes, wait for another cycle of the lights. Oh, well. And when they do do something stupid and get killed, then all of a sudden they're the best person in the world, the most kind, tender-hearted person that ever lived. Have you ever noticed that? I read stories all the time. Someone ends up doing something and getting killed or end up killing themselves doing something. It's usually the best way to put it. Man, they were just an upstanding citizen. They may not have been smart enough to breathe through their nose and walk at the same time, <clears throat> but they were an upstanding citizen. They went out and did something stupid and got killed. I have a hard time feeling real sorry for people that go out and do stupid stuff and get killed. Call it what you want to. All right, we're well, doing all that. We've had a wonderful auto stop shave. We talked about pulling the skin so that you can get it on a flat space to shave. That could be something good for folks to remember. But it's just a beautiful razor. I mean, really, let me show this thing off again. You got the gears on the side and everything because it was made to be used with the uh, strop and then actually be an auto stop. Uh, got the little square, and I don't think the little square lug under the head looks as good as the A1 does. It doesn't have that, it's just round all the way up. So I do think the A1 is a better looking than the A2. But uh, you know, either way it goes, they both shave really, really, really good. So there you go. Oh boy, that's a nice feeling shave. That's exactly what I needed to start today. We're gonna get a little bit of our alt Innsbruck, Innsbruck, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's supposed to be a tobacco scent. Whatever it is, I like it. I like it. Might be one that uh, when I get a little extra money, I may buy it for myself. I do have to go back and stock up on some more of my good old Pinal stuff. I'm, I'm out of uh, 
I'm basically out of the veg. And I see I'm running low on uh, Bay Rum, Virgin Island Bay Rum. And I'm running low on the uh, Special Reserve. Although I thought I bought a Special Reserve. I may have a Special Reserve around somewhere that I'm not seeing. But anyway, it's time to make a trip over to Lafayette and uh, go eat at one of my favorite Chinese places, if it's still open. It was last time I was over there. They closed my favorite Chinese place here. Anyway, and restock my phenol. But well, there we go. I'm gonna get dressed and go to work. Whoever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, don't be stupid and kill yourself. It's no fun. Remember, he who has the most birthdays lived the longest. Try to set a record. Whoever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shades to you.